Some of you know him as Slayer, but football fans know him as Keenan Allen who plays for the LA Chargers. We'll take a deep dive into his lifestyle, including his net worth, his house, and his wife. Keenan shared the desire of every football player to one day play in the NFL. However, after a sprained PCL in the 2012 season, he was unable to participate in the NFL scouting combine. In spite of a drop in his projected draft position, Allen was selected by the San Diego Chargers in the third round of the 2013 NFL draft, which was good for 76th overall. On May 9, 2013, Allen signed a four-year, $2.81 million contract with the Chargers. However, he was hardly used. Allen was so disheartened by his inability to play that he almost gave up football for good and went back to school. Fortunately, he began to see more playing time. And on October 6, 2013, against the Oakland Raiders, he recorded his first 100-yard game as a receiver in the NFL. Then the next week, he had nine receptions, 107 yards, and a touchdown in a victory over the Indianapolis Colts. Allen was limited in his abilities due to injuries during the 2014 season and therefore only had 77 catches. But Allen returned with a vengeance in 2015. And in the first week of the year, he surpassed Kellen Winslow's franchise record. However, Allen was diagnosed with a kidney injury, limiting his production to just 67 catches that year. Allen's contract with the Chargers was extended in 2016. However, he was injured again and missed the 2016 season. Despite his best efforts, Allen tore his ACL early in the season and was out for the year. He had trouble standing throughout the first half of the season's matches. In a game against the Raiders during the 2022 season, Keenan injured his hamstring and had to leave the game early. Allen returned for the 2017 season better than ever, and in the second week of the year, he set a new personal best. Allen was a big contributor to the Chargers' victory over the Dallas Cowboys in Week 12 of that season. In the same season, Keenan set a record by becoming the first player in NFL history to record at least 10 receptions, 100 receiving yards, and a touchdown in each of three consecutive games. As a result of his outstanding play, he was named the NFL's Comeback Player of the Year. Both of Allen's season in 2018 and 2019 were average, not as good as in 2017, but still rather successful. In 2022, Keenan Allen and Sandra Monique said their wedding vows. Furthermore, the married couple dated for a long time before even getting engaged. Though they weren't legally married yet, Keenan and Sandra did act like husband and wife. The NFL player and his bride also welcomed three children before they even tied the knot. The couple invited only close friends and family to their extravagant wedding. Keenan and his wife went all out on their wedding, selecting only the finest venue money could buy. Allen and his new bride, Siandra Monique Allen, tied the knot on June 18th, 2022. The happy couple held their reception at VIP events and weddings. Its name implies that it was a high-end establishment where Allen's visitors would indulge. The VIP mansion was chosen by Allen and his wife. Similarly, the pair would say their vows in the garden that comes with the deal. In addition, the aforementioned estate has enough space for 250 guests. The location must have cost Keenan and his wife tens of thousands of dollars, although the actual amount isn't listed on their website. Both Allen and his new wife spared no expense on their big day. Everything about the wedding was special and beautiful, from the location to the bride's gown. The bridal dress Siandra wore was certainly turning heads. Blush Bridal Couture is where she got her dress, and it had quite a snug fit. Allen's new wife shined in her elegant gown. The typical price of a bridal gown is roughly $2,000, with custom-made gowns costing as much as $10,000. On the other hand, Allen was dressed in a straightforward three-piece suit. Keenan, though, looked just as lovely in his wedding suit as his new bride. Custom-made versions start at $1,000, which is more than most people spend on a wedding dress. The NFL great even bought his clothes at the Grotto. In the 2010s, Keenan began dating Sandra and decided to take the relationship to the next level in May of 2017. That's when Keenan proposed to the love of his life. Kamari was Keenan and his wife's first child, and they became parents that year. Monique then gave birth to her second child, Kalia, two years later. Until Siandra had their third child, 
Alan's children were both girls. Kenan's wedding flower girls were his own daughters, and Cato, his son, carried the rings. In September 2020, Keenan Allen inked a four-year, $80.1 million contract with the Los Angeles Chargers, including a $13.5 million signing bonus. Allen's fortune is around $60 million and rising. Thanks to his new contract, Allen is financially secure even without a flurry of paid endorsements. Here's some fun facts. Keenan Allen's talents extend well beyond the gridiron. He says, I played piano and started in junior of high school when I was 17. My friend was playing and it sounded so dope, I wanted to play. Allen is self-taught and also sings and writes his own music. When it comes to Allen's favorite movie, there seems to be a common theme. He says his favorite movie is Friday Night Lights because he likes to keep it in the football family. He said he's only a fan of the movie and never really got into the cult classic TV series. Alan says his favorite food is lobster. And while he does cook, he said he hasn't dipped into making his favorite dish yet. However, here are some things Alan does make. He says he likes to cook simple stuff like pork chops, steak, and chicken. If you follow Alan on Instagram or check into TMZ every now and then, you'll see he has a pretty impressive jewelry collection with custom grills. I have a Slayer piece, a KA-13 piece, bracelets, earring, and necklaces, the star says. As we mentioned above, it's hard to think of Keenan Allen without the Slayer moniker. Somebody came up with it on Instagram and it stuck, he said. When he's on the field, Allen truly is a beast, and to his credit, he doesn't lack confidence. It demonstrates me on the field just crushing defensive backs. I haven't found a DB who can guard me yet. On April 27th, 1992, Keenan Allen was born in Greensboro, North Carolina. At Northern Guilford High School and before that, he went to Grimsley Senior High School where he participated in football, basketball, and track. When it came to football, he was a major contributor for the Nighthawks on both sides of the ball. Both USA Today and Parade named him a high school All-American in 2009, and he went on to play in the U.S. Army All-American Bowl, where he returned a punt and a kickoff for a total of 33 yards. For the long jump, Allen qualified for the state championships with a top jump of 7.01 meters. He ran sprints in his senior year of high school, and in the 400-meter dash at the 2010 PTFCA state meet, he finished 24th with a timing of 51.60 seconds. He ran the 100-meter dash as well, and his best time, 11.2. His 40-yard sprint time came in at a pretty nice 4.56 seconds. On both Rivals.com and Scout.com, Allen was rated as a 5-star prospect, and he was generally considered the best defensive back in the country. Allen had originally committed to play safety for Alabama, but he later changed his mind and decided to end the University of California Berkeley instead. There, he would join his half-brother, Zach Maynard, who was also a football player. If you like this video, you might like the video of his teammate, Justin Herbert. Now, do you think Keenan Allen can stay healthy enough this season to get the Chargers to the playoffs? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.